It is so creepy. It's, but why? But why, Devil? One, two, three. It is very creepy. Even right next to it is... Gotta look at the screen, make sure I'm showing you the right one. Yeah, that one right there, is it? Yep. One, two, three. This one is so creepy because it just does multiple things, like multiples. Nia. It's a multiple one. You remember Star Fox's girlfriend, right? Star Fox Adventures. I look at this like a mouth right here, this one right here. We've had a theme of this that's been going on around in our actual real world of like um, the crowns. And the crowns, that's the reason why ukulele is having a crown. Ukulele. Uh, that one's a good try, right? Also, one, two, three. So it's like the double try because for the V's, right? Pussy. Pussy does make you uh, tired. Yeah, it does. That is such a crazy uni leg. <laughs> Look how scary this one. This one has a lot of emotion right here. One, two. I like that emotion. Motion's good because then we lead up to this one. One, two, three. They're scary things in Mario 64. They're really scary. And Shav Colossus even has some scary ones also. And um, they're just like, when you find them, they're just like, they're, they're the kind of things that like, they're like, don't look at me. You know, those, they really are. They're the, don't look at me. They're, uh... <laughs> Wanderer's knee is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. See? See, I just, it's just, it's very creepy stuff. It's like, um, they're very mysterious. They're uh, one of my favorite things to find because they're like very mysterious. And uh, this is kind of a cool little preface right here. See, this is like a preface. See this whole outline right here? That's like a good preface because... It's good for Mario 64, but it's also talking about how Shadow of the Colossus has a connection that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the connection. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think there is, like, surprisingly an adult actress that has these kind of legs. There's something with to do with that, too. Um, today I got the also the this this other crazy picture about this which one switch it over right there like that you know that kind of crap i got a picture of that uh yeah there's actual actresses that have been through that whatever the heck that is. That's pretty messed up footage. That's why they say, you know, warning, you know, they give you like warnings before you watch adult films. And, uh, what's with this? This three is good. This three is by Ishtar. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Back out. Yeah. That's why we have a side here. A side to the mouth. Because we're still looking for hangers, too. They just go both together so good. It's crazy how good. They just go together completely. <clears throat> and they're like hangers. This one's good to look at. And when I re-look back at this, 
because I look back at this, I can look back and it's right one, two, three. That's a really good one. I look for the tired. I look for the tired ones. The tired ones are amazing. And the reason they're showing you this tired one, which is a very creepy one, um, you know, Liv Morgan was wearing her gear, right? <clears throat> but Liv Morgan's talking about the gear of the body because it's like it's like the movement of your body. So we go to like right up here, one, two, three. And I like it. I like this one. This one's bloatation. This is common bloatation. So every human goes through common bloatation, you know, even if they're skinny, they'll have the low gut, you know, that kind of thing. Right. And, um, This one's like almost like keep looking for melons right here. One, two. Yeah, there's so it's just like, you know, it's like it's like kind of like, okay, so a belly boobs, belly boobs, you know. But like uh there is uh this is like another grabbing the stuff I was talking about with like claw and grabbing, you know. And uh there's your see that's why your stub arm is there. But um uh, you know, a human being squeezed out of a hole. Okay. Uh, the witch, the witch hat. See, that's what's crazy. When you, when I was playing Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance, I really love the art style that they did to Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance. The, the art style that they did was like um, uh, the witch hat. They had, uh, they, they wanted to add a lot of distractions, you know. Because that's what makes something really creepy is when you add a ton of distractions. Here's a stare. One, two. And uh, that's whole Sonic DVD. Remember Sonic DVD? It's a very scary DVD. It's really crazy. Uh, but that makes sense because at the same time that Sonic and Sally, there was also Sonic Underground. And Sonic Underground is uh, the, the, pink, the pink character, you know? So yeah, that, that was the whole thing about making the, the the character like making her face be modeled after boobs, uh, and then like that's the whole creepy stuff that they want to do. They just want to do a bunch of creepy stuff like that. They want to have, of course, we have Ray right here too, right? Ray underwear, right? Because you know we also got black females, right? And uh, but like um. It's kind of like a whole entire, you know, it's, uh, what's, what's with the melons? Uh, Beyonce songs are really good, by the way. I really, I really do like Beyonce songs. They are very, very good. Her new songs, You Won't Break My Soul, that, those, those songs are good. She's, she did really good on those ones. Uh, but this is a whole, um, Mm, shoot, I can't with this one. This one's like uh, uh, this one's this one's such a character. This one is uh, oh my gosh, it's like a ball grabber almost. <laughs> uh, I guess a vulva could be a ball grabber too, like like as your hand because your hand grabs, right? Um, Was it? Gosh, the being pierced down on the ground is a good one. Yeah, that is good. Because when you're pierced down to the dirt, uh, like, you know, like when your body is flung to the ground, you also know that Lady Gaga had a music video applause where she was like dancing on the ground kind of thing. But when your whole body is forced down to the ground and then like you're going to fly back up, you know, that kind of thing, you're going to hover back up. So like your body is like, you know, pushed down. Also, that's the whole point of Ray just being like a stabber because Ray likes to stab, stab, stab the top of the head of Wanderer. So it's like a, a piercing down. There's so many things they can do synergy-wise, like like having two secrets together of being pierced down. 
Also, it's of course the knife, you know, because the knife is going to be that way. So like a knife is going to be stabbing. That's the way of Nintendo telling you how crazy they designed uh, Garium. Because when they designed Garium, Garium was a whole entire like crazy thing of like having rather than having the knives being like stab 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 right they wanted to have his daggers and all that like fly around into a loop to do another thing because there's a loop there's a kind of like loop thing so they wanted instead of it to be like the whole stab 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 that it would just be all in a circle okay um and what's creepy too is also like that's pretty creepy, <laughs> yeah. But uh, because we've been watching screen movies for quite a bit of time, uh, but like, uh, it's it's creepy how you design a character, you make it blatant. And of course, since it's not the secret, you're gonna make it blatant, but you're also gonna make it have different patterns. You know what I'm saying? Like, Arium's gonna have different patterns, but he's like he's still a creepy blatant you know what i'm saying like he's just like a character model and that that's what good artwork is because you have the character model there and normally to gamers when they're playing video games or for the, the, the what makes it creepy is like normally a video gamer will play the game i like this one also up here right here that mouth right there i like that that's good even though i know yes it looks kind of like a vagina vulva inside that hole but you know i like the mouth the mouth is good but um uh for excitement excitement mouth which is a very scary creature i'm looking for but uh and this one's another see there's the darkness one two um so it's showing you how like a face goes into another body right and uh okay so i'm trying to look like it's the whole thing of like how, okay, and then here's flea legs. So what video game developers know is when they produce a video game, they know when they produce a video game that sometimes they will make these sequences and they'll make these ideas and they'll make these character developments. And what they know is it's a perfect opportunity because people are stupid. See what I'm saying? You know, certain YouTubers playing Dragon Age Veilguard, stupid. You know, people are just dumb. People are completely dumb and kind of the funny thing that you can do that's very scary, but like that you can do is you can take a character, take the development of a character, put the character in the video game. And it's just kind of like a TV show because TV shows do this all the time too, you know, and you can take a character, uh, take the placement, put the placement of the character. You will not pay attention to the character, but that's the whole point, you know, because you suck. <laughs> 